I'm constantly getting tons and tons of letters and emails from viewers with questions about pet care. And recently I've gotten some really interesting ones, like this one from Heidi in Boulder, Colorado. This one's about birds, Harry. Pay attention. Dear Mark, I've heard that it isn't safe to use Teflon cookware in my home if I have birds. Is this true? Good thing I read it before Harry took my glasses off. The problem with nonstick cookware is not that there's anything with this hurting a bird, but if you overheat it, the coating on it will release a toxic gas that will kill birds in the area immediately. So some people say, well, I just won't burn my pots and pans. The thing is, who plans on burning a pot or pan or overheating it? And that's the thing. There's no hard and fast rules about how high the temperature of the cookware needs to be or how far in the house the gas can travel. So to answer your question, we don't use nonstick cookware in our home at all. I'm not telling you, you what to do, but in our house, we don't have it at all. Now we have a question from Calder in Detroit, Michigan. Dear Mark Marone, my dog loves me and I love him. However, he always knocks over the garbage when I'm not home. Why is he so spiteful to me? <laughs> well, I get that question a lot about spite and animals. And human emotions like spite are impossible for an animal to comprehend. Animals are always direct and honest about their emotions. They don't think the way we do. Your dog doesn't sit there and plan when you leave the house. Okay, what am I going to do today? I'm going to knock over the garbage. He doesn't think like that. Your dog knocks over the garbage because it allows yummy things to fall out of it. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Dogs generally think like that. It's a simple cause and effect. You're the furthest thing from his mind while this is happening. To solve the problem, just lock up the garbage when you leave the house so your dog can't get to it. Now we have a letter here from Zoa in Tucson, Arizona. Dear Mark, my pet parrot Alfred plucks his chest feathers all the time. What's wrong with him and what can I do? Well, Zoa, that's a very, very common problem and I get asked that question a lot about birds. Feather plucking or self-mutilation syndrome, there's a multitude of reasons why birds will do that. And the best thing to do is to take Alfred to an avian vet, one that specializes in birds. And it's the vet's job to determine whether it's a psychological problem or a physical problem. In severe cases, if it's a psychological problem, the vet may put a plastic Elizabethan collar like this around the bird's neck to prevent him from getting to the chest feathers until you can redirect his behavior towards toys or other inanimate objects instead of his feathers. These collars don't hurt the animals in any way. They just look funny and take a few days for the animal to get used to. Well, I hope you enjoyed all these animal tips. And thank you for sending me all these great pet care questions. Just keep them coming. Right, Splash?